friends. Uh, I think I have this opportunity. Uh, in the past also, I had one chance participating in the past project of kids conference at SOAS. It was long ago, back in 2003. So, it's the second time that I'm attending the past project of kids conference here. <coughs> As my Already, uh, what is said, my title of this presentation is History, Culture, and Identity after the Wars, Challenges, and Prospect. So, uh, it is complete to be mindful from time. I don't know how uh, much time I can take, so, but I try to be uh, as short as possible. I had Sayyidu requested me to make some slides. I have made a few slides. <coughs> Probably many, I don't know, but I'll see how far we can go. <coughs> uh, uh, when we talk about Nevas, Nevas are those who actually speak the Alpasa, Nevas are the people. Nowadays, I'm and Nevas people, not as they want it, but Nevas people are the people. Speaking or Dewa people frequently call it the Pawasa. Dewa people consists of various races, caste, and a single linguistic community. They prefer it nowadays to call Dewa Nisa. Dewa Jati in the Pawasa, but it is not a very much of the Janjati. Things, but it's impossible. It lacks a lot of information. 2011 population shows the number of population is like 1 million 321,943, that is about 5% of the total population. Of the uh, in the past, we were into Kathmandu Valley and uh, decided not to become the war, but that has been stopped since long as Gorkha conquest of uh, <coughs> Nepal, which also subjugated the war from the ruling uh, ethnic group or caste property. So, uh, actually, since 1854, after the New uh, Muniki Eng was introduced in Nepal by the Jangabaru. Uh, Nepal were put below first com community, Dharma Chetri, which uh, gave them different ident identity as Nepal. <coughs> uh, Nepal, when we talk about Nepal society, uh, it is highly complicated and divided uh, in a division according to caste and caste hierarchy. <coughs> uh, 19th century chronicle, uh, rural tradition, STI, the early mother king just did introduce caste system, otherwise in the past you can say, generally say, there is no caste in the past. But when we, we look into the history, uh, even during Elizabeth period, uh, Bernard's son, caste system was applied by the ruling community uh, ruling uh, kings in Nepal. I don't know whether it was prevalent or not. It is still uh, we don't care cannot really tell really exact. Uh, after Volka Compass however, the system began to occur more and more rigid as the Yoga made made so related to Bhagavatina as <coughs> Uh, about Nevar people, lots have been studied already. I have put few photos of books already published uh, by various uh, Western scholars uh, and the Nepalese scholar. Uh, you can see it. Uh, when we talk about the history of Nepal, uh, the history of Nepal is generally divided into this. 
period, basically pre ancient Kirat Kirat period, ancient generally uh, uh, people uh, to begin from so fifth century to next uh, ninth century, and then early medieval or Chakuri era, medieval era, period uh, to 1768, 69, yeah. then modern era, that is from 1769 to 2008, uh, then we have modern period, 2008, uh, uh, if we look at the history, uh, the first people who were Nepal were uh, Gopala, Maispala, then comes Hirata. Generally, this historian uh, gave 64 Kirata density rule in Nepal, but there is no uh, written evidence to prove that. Uh, only uh, the Lichavik, uh, since Lichavik period, we have written history, several inscription from that period only, uh, what it means from 464 to 878 AD. During the Thakuri period, which is also people of dark age, but uh, during this period also some uh, in, uh, instructional evidences we have. Uh, during this Thakuri period also, we have earliest Newar documents came into existence. Uh, then from sec uh, 12th century to 17th, 69th of we have Nola period, uh, which is also generally now known as Newar kings, Newar Raja. Mullahs themselves, when they came to Nepal, they, were, they came out from outside Nepal. So, in general, Kathmandu uh, Valley, the Newar of Nepal, was ruled by outsiders throughout history. Uh, 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 never ruled by Newar themselves, so, so to say. Not, uh, not only during the uh, period, but also in another period, kings were considered to be incarnation of God and Isis, especially after the work of Congress. These kings, uh, Saha kings, they uh, considered themselves to be incarnation of Vishnu. Historians such as uh, believe that Newars uh, are very populated uh, since prehistoric time in Nepal. Uh, scholars such as Gorma and Mr. assert that Newars people lived in Delhi from prehistoric time. It is common belief that the word Newar is etymologically with the place name Nepal is derived from the name of the country Nepal. It's uh, language such as rough terms also uh, as uh, from Nepal, 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 all people from Nepal and Nepal. So uh, Nepal and Nepal actually interchangeable word. Uh, there is, I was conflicting view on the origin of the word Nepal. Uh, there are actually two different thoughts among the scholars. One who want to suspectize the word Nepal as originated from Nimuni or Nipo, uh, Caesar like that, uh, but <coughs> those who uh, do not uh, believe uh, the word ne Nepal derived from Sanskritic origin uh, term, uh, they believe it is uh, Aboriginal word, the Nepal, the new Nipo, or whatever it, it were was in the past, uh, the Aboriginal tribe of inhabitants of the from whose name the Nepal world came into existence. So when, now I go into the culture. So when uh, we talk about culture uh, in Nepal Bhasa, Nepal Bhasa, we call it nowadays Taji Lati. Uh, when we talk about Taji Lati, uh, culture and heritage, we can 
put many things in it, but I have put here 10 different uh, components for Neva Fajilati, Neva Heritage, Neva Religion, Feast and Festival, Food and Ritual, Life Cycle and Death Ritual, CBT and other duties, Funeral and Social and Social Religious Association, Neva Art and Architecture, Neva Music and Dances, Nepal Summer and Neva Spirit, uh, Nepal Vasa Literature, Classical and Global. So, these things we can consider as Neva Culture and Heritage. Uh, Already this morning, uh, uh, in the afternoon, our um, keynote speaker has mentioned about, uh, talk about Neva Heritage, about movement, art, and architect, uh, which were with our founding company, very actually, you know, they were, uh, they were people, they were uh, and, uh, people of uh, Akhman Bhaili. Religious movement, Pagoras Kai Temple, Stupor, God and uh, uh, God houses, great places, stone spout, <coughs> public buildings, and monuments in Kathmandu Valley are considered to be important without cultural effort or traditional settlements in the Kathmandu Valley are adorned with magnificent temple, monuments, great places, and traditional stone water spout of which we are proud. Uh, we also from one say about tangible uh, intangible heritage. Uh, when we talk about tangible heritage uh, in Kathmandu Valley Island, we have seven various uh, monuments which have been the uh, UNESCO has recognized as world heritage of the art. So you do Bolto, Paspatina, Samu, Aptapu, Dravarska, Amandaka Dravarska, and Patan Dravarska. Mm. So uh, the example of Nepalese art and architect uh, mostly get from Malak and in the part they have survived <coughs> several outbreaks such as in 1833, 1934. Uh, the majority of them uh, of the destroyed buildings, especially temples and rest places were later reconstructed, thereby many lost their original place while others disappeared all the way. In the past, actually, individual religious groups or families had built uh, these movements in order to obtain religious movement. However, after uh, sponsors have lost sources of income, many of these buildings were no longer runs up. Uh, so, uh, on the one hand, we are seeing the uh, loss of these heritage uh, movements, uh, and uh, on the other hand, our government uh, in Nepal is uh, kind of in, uh, sincere toward preserving its movements of heritage uh, site and uh, uh, we saw sort of losing uh, of old houses in Kathmandu to expand roads and uh, against this kind of in, insensitivity of authorities lately we, we are seeing Nepal youth have been launching programs such as Save Nepal Valley and this is of quite political sort of movement in the of the religious, When we talk about religious tradition, we have uh, there are people generally for Hinduism, Buddhism, inseparably, and uh, people such as uh, scholars such as Dr. Gilder, Manasa, prefer to call it Nevar religion, but Hinduism, Buddhism, or any other, but that is never religion, you know, what we call it. Despite the fact that we also uh, know that in, among Neva people, we have all sort of uh, religious uh, people, uh, Neva Muslim also we have, Neva Christians we have already uh, in the past. Uh, but, <laughs> So, okay, uh, I skipped the Neva Kutra already, I talked uh, 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 about it. Uh, we have, when we talk about uh, culture and religious, we also have lots of feast and festival. In my, in my group, I have uh, mentioned like 38 uh, such uh, feast and festival, Neva Kutra, same way. I have just listed here. 
skip in one. So, uh, and uh, other thing we uh, important uh, in our never is the Gucci system, Gucci institution. Uh, from let's say time onward, we have the Gucci system which look after the building monuments, running religious activities. And uh, all these, uh, which is actually uh, not only supported by endowment, but also uh, various uh, organizations, voluntarily also supported these uh, this which is. In the recent time, however, uh, after uh, 1964, 64 takeover of, uh, of all these which is by which is Sasta, Corporation. Uh, lots of tradition have been lost because uh, the Gucci system has uh, taken the, all incomes from all those uh, endowment, but they are not properly supporting uh, activities of uh, related to the Gucci system. So, as I said, the Gucci Corporation to of the tax of handling the finance and management of the major festivals and the temples throughout the country. However, it was credibility with the people because of the inadequate support we provided to religiously important institutions, especially in Kapunga Valley, it gained a bad reputation because of the role it played in suppressing various fees of the festival by not providing sufficient access. And most recently, you all know, we had massive protests against Gucci Dream in Kathmandu, uh, which actually tried to uh, consolidate all acts and amendments related to Gucci's. The bill also planned to nationalize all Gucci's, both public and private, and control all religious sites by replacing the Gucci corporation with a powerful corporation. So, which was protested by many uh, never people, but uh, at the beginning they tried to suppress the at last. On 19 June, the Nevada people showed an unprecedented protest program at Chiboso, known as Batiha, against the proposed TV. This protest finally forced the government to unilaterally really like vote. However, we again uh, heard from the government that they are trying to present the reintroduce the bill uh, again. Uh, <coughs> we don't know how. So I don't know how long I can take care of that. We have lots of things to talk about. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was never was writing. Uh, in this talk, I was never was writing. Uh, the earliest evidence is a palm leaf from Patan Uttubha that is uh, dated here in 1780, and the epigraph that was found uh, in in Brazil, even in 1972, and uh, found it in 2014. The uh, only real, uh, one, uh, one of period actually, the paper was a writing again. And the oldest book to be found in the world language is Hormeka of 1922, maybe in the 16th century, 1474. And we also have uh, Marjorie and Sastra, Omar Kosa, since 14th century of the world, you can see this. Written the history of the war <coughs> And uh, originally, the Nepal language was called the Nepal Vasa or Desa Vasa. Later, in the Rana period, the government wanted to rename uh, their language Gorkhali as Nepal. Then, uh, our name got uh, a kind of derogatory word like Nepal. Which they were people in the life. Mm -hmm. but, uh, on the other hand, the uh, whole Nepal was first began to be popular since 1932. Mm -hmm. And in 1914, during the time of Ghana Prime Minister Chen Sumshin, the Gorka Pasa Pakasa Samiti was established, which in 1934 renamed as the Nepal Pasa Pakasa Samiti. And nowadays, in Yerim, they speak of the saints. In 1957, the government of Nepal declared first Nepali to be the only language of instruction in schools. Uh, 
and the 59th Constitution, Article 70 declared national language of Japan shall be Japani in the Japanese script. Uh, although we have so many political changes, this sentence still may be written in, uh, in 1990 Constitution or 2007 uh, interim Constitution, now again in 2015 Constitution. Actually, when we talk about what more Gorkali or Nepali, uh, the Gorkali, after the Gorkha conquest, actually the Gorkha kings or uh, rulers tried their best to continue the name Gorkali. Even the uh, famous national anthem of Nepal in the past, when we had kings in the song, Sriman, Zambir, we generally people knew it as Nepali, but it used to be Sriman, Zambir, Gorkha. And also uh, uh, the second paragraph, which was not sung in the letter period, also contained the word like Nepal, Nathi, Sadei, Nathu, Ghost, Kulak, Ghi, Gorkha. So they uh, want to make uh, them. Uh, the Nepal means the uh, people of Kakan, where they want to suppress all uh, that uh, with force by the Gorkha uh, statement they have. Actually, the uh, realization of uh, identity of various uh, nationalities in Nepal began already during the uh, 1950s, uh, as you can see in picture here, uh, uh, founder of Communist Party of Nepal, Postala, together with Tanto Prasad Achari, who was a uh, those people who uh, in uh, in 1996, uh, anti Rana protest, they uh, gave from the Purja Parishad party, who was right in, in prison instead of uh, made in martyrs, uh, martyrs because he was a Brahmin. Uh, on the other hand, three near, uh, three, the four other people, three near us, who just uh, some uh, Sukhra Sastri, Joshi, he was Neva Joshi, and uh, Rana was Shrestha. Uh, and <coughs> so, so these uh, four people will keep their, uh, whereas Anko Prasad was uh, uh, pardon. <laughs> and uh, in fifties as we can see, Jantako, Jantakya, Jantakya, Swayutta, Murta, Nepal. So, already during that time, they felt that uh, Nepal uh, is a multinational country, multi-ethnic country. So, these people should get, should be treated equally. Uh, so, now I don't know if you can get us. <laughs> Thank you. presentation but we are um, we don't have the luxury of continuing for long period of time.